Okay, so yeah, hello everybody. How you doing? It's been a, it's been a while since I've sat behind the microphone and had a conversation with the world of YouTube, and I can tell you right now, I've absolutely missed this like you wouldn't believe. Even though a lot of you think that I go away from these, you know, I have these little hiatuses and I don't care about anything, I had to sort of, I had to do this. I had to have a break for like three, four months or whatever it was because um, obviously I was getting a lot of messages on social media, on Twitter, and um, messages on my channel of people saying, why haven't you uploaded in so long? I mean, this has been longer than normal. It's never gone this long before. Is everything okay? Are you well? And um, I, like I said, I just hadn't read Twitter. I, I, when I say disconnected, I mean I hadn't even looked at any of my pages. I just had to come away. Um, and I did put it over Twitter sometime last week, and I said, look, the, I've, I've been really ill. I've been really, really ill, and I didn't want to get into the whole, you know, doing videos about it, or when it was leading up to the point of me being ill and saying, oh, this is what's happened, and having all the... It's not that I don't like sympathy. I do... I do I, I'm one of these people, I do take compliments, not brilliantly, because I get embarrassed, if you like. You know, it's not that I don't appreciate it, it's just I get embarrassed when people compliment me, or I get embarrassed when people say, oh, get stay strong, get well, you know, hope everything's okay, because I don't like to come across as one of these people who's looking for sympathy, I suppose, if you like. I mean, the, the realism of it is, is like I say, I have been sick. Let me get all this out of the way before we talk about the video, by the way. I have been really sick, and um, as a result of that, I had to sell a lot of my stuff. I can't be one of these people that doesn't sort of take care of business first you know you've got to take care of your health you've got to take care of your life first and all the fun and all the you know youtube and everything else gaming has to be second place and i didn't want to sort of piss and moan about that and then still carry on doing videos and have people say well you know you've got equipment you've got computers you've got xboxes playstations you've got microphones and all these things you should be selling those instead of making videos crying about it all and uh, and that's how i like to deal with things i'm a man i'm a man of the year 2017 i have to deal with it with this myself and sort of take care of my family so yeah so that's exactly what's been happening but appreciate everybody's concern over things it has been really nice to see and i'm sorry that i haven't got back to you but, uh, you know, it's a case of now I'm just having to build everything back up, build all my, um, you know, all my things back up to do YouTube. And that's that's just where I am at the moment. So, yeah, all that out of the way, let's move on and forget about this and just, um, you know, crack on as if nothing had happened. I <laughs> know it's a little bit ignorant, but pretend nothing's happened. Pretend this is all fresh. And I did a video last week. So, yeah, this um, gameplay you're looking at in the background is a Black Ops 3 gameplay. Obviously, um, it's an old one. It's one that was sitting on my hard drive I don't know how old it is I do know how I doing it and I will pre-warn you first of all that I don't spend a lot of time in the air on this one <laughs> I know it's it's almost like the 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 unspoken rule of of, uh, of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare is that you have to take three steps and then jump and then take another two steps and then jump again and just keep jumping and jumping and I know that works out for some people for me, I'm very traditional. I'm a bluff traditionalist, and I like to keep boots on the ground sometimes. I do spend some time aerial, but uh, in this gameplay in particular, I thought, no, I'm going to stay on the ground. It's working out well for me, and it most certainly does. So, yeah, it's a reasonably good gameplay. I hope you enjoy it. Now, obviously, um, I have dabbled a little bit in gaming here, there, and everywhere. You know, I've, I've sort of played... I've played Black Ops 3 more. You know, I have still got Infinite Warfare and things like that, but I have been playing Black Ops 3 a little bit more. And um, it's quite weird, actually. It's like, <laughs> I always find when things seem bad, they always manage to get a little bit worse. And um, you obviously have to get to that point where you say, wow, maybe things weren't as bad as I originally thought they were, you know? Take Black Ops 3, for instance. I was never a fan of, of Black Ops 3. I had some good times with it, but I was never one of these who would rave and scream and say it's the greatest thing. I did compliment the weapons and say that the balance wasn't too bad. Everything seemed quite in order as far as that is concerned. But um, I was never the one to sort of scream and shout about its greatness. However, after going back to Infinite Warfare and having a game of that, and then coming back to this, it's like, wow, it's not as bad as I actually thought it was. Because, I don't know, imagine being locked in a prison cell and you're being force-fed cat vomit for the last year. You've had to eat cat vomit, kitten vomit for the last year. That's what you've had to put up with in your system. And you think, oh my god, it's disgusting, it's horrible, I hate it, I can't stand it anymore. I want to be, I want to be sick, I can't eat this. I want something fresh and new and delicious to come along and take this taste away. And, um, you know, November comes along and they say, hey, something new on the menu. It's, um, it's, I don't know, ferret poo. 
ferret diarrhea. Yes, eat that, and you eat that and think, oh my god, the cat sick wasn't that bad. Um, I need more kitten vomit. So that's that's what it feels like to me. And I have actually had some fun playing this, and I've done some really good gameplays. But unfortunately, ah, look at that. See the focus there. Destroy that HCXD before it takes me out. Um, that's what I say. If I'd have been aerial, I probably wouldn't have noticed that. So it worked out for me being on the ground. And um, I was able to take care of that nasty little surprise that keeps coming for me. I don't know what it is with HGXDs, Predator missiles, all these things. They still have their focus on me. Um, I have been enjoying Black Ops 3 a lot more. Infinite Warfare is just... It's just awful. I, I'm sorry. I know, there are, I know there probably are people that think it still is a great game. For me, I think that the steps that they've taken with that game, the route they've gone down to try and make it better, has almost added... It's made it worse as far as I'm concerned. You know, the, the supply drop weapons are now so insane. A lot of the time, it's a one-bullet kill. You know, what, what's that trench gun? Trencher? Is it actually called a trencher? You know, I noticed that, like, one bullet, not even to the head, has taken me out. Somebody jumping at me and popping me with one bullet from a trencher or the Irad Cyclone, the most annoying weapon that I think in all of the existence of Call of Duty has managed to piss me off more than anything. And I don't even know if it's because of the power of the gun. I don't know if it's because the gun is is that good that it just dominates or whether it's because it's just so annoying. I mean, being shot with the Irad Cyclone is almost... I can imagine it to being the equivalent of some... Oh, look at those guys in there. <laughs> you think you're safe. You're not safe from a flying talon. Nor you guys there are running in to get your protection again. I think that was the same two guys. Um, yeah, the being shot by an Irad Cyclone, for me, is the equivalent of what I can imagine some poor old pilot feels whenever he's uh, flying his Boeing 747 and some twat on the ground shines a laser in his eye. It's just awful. It's an off-putting gun and it drives me insane. But uh, but yeah, so that's it. That's the gameplay over. And uh, most of that commentary was spent me having to go through the usual explanations. And I know people say you don't need to explain, but I feel like this time maybe a little bit of an explanation was in order. So basically, thank you very much guys for sticking around. I know my channel has had a bit of a hammering, but of course it's going to, you know, I've uploaded nothing and um, I was expecting a lot of people to leave, but uh, the true loyal people stayed on and that's what counts for me. And you know what, having you guys there has given me the strength to sort of get through what I've, um, what I've been going through and that's brilliant. So thanks very much for that and hopefully I can repay the, uh, the respect to you by uploading more in the near future. So that's good news for me and hopefully that's good news for you. Thanks for watching guys, much love, apocalypse done.